wait around here and they'll come meet us. Sweet. Oh shit. Ah, oh, come on, just leave it, man. I hate to see you so miserable every time you take your phone out on right, vacation. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, what time did the... Oh shit! Sophie. What are the odds of that? <sighs> Not that slim, apparently. Man, we need to go. I don't want him to see me like this. I haven't had a trim in like a month. He's already seen us. Ah. Man, what do I say? It's proposed to already. Shut up. You're not helping. Jake, Tom? Hey. Hi. How's it going? Hello. How are you? Yeah, good. It's been a while. Hi. Sophie. How are you? Listen, you guys, I'm going to go speak to this guy. I'll see you guys later, yeah? All right, mate. It was nice to see you, Tom. Good. So, what brings you to Mallorca? Uh, well, me and, uh, me and Tom kind of just booked a hotel around here. The uh, thing is, the company fucked up with our tickets. And they gave us the honeymoon suite. <laughs> I was always suspicious of the two of you. <laughs> um, but yeah, what about you? What brings you here? Um, I actually moved out here a couple of weeks back with, with Ellie. Ellie? Ellie? Wait, I thought Ellie... And I, I know the place quite well, so if you're ever looking for a tour guide, just hit me up. Well, I suppose I could use someone to show me around the coffee shops. Is that just your lame way of asking me out on a date? I mean, I suppose so. It depends on your answer. You sure you want to do this? What do you mean? Um, well, I've actually met up with Emma later on. So I'll call you and maybe we can sort something out. Yeah, sure. Okay. And uh, by the way, I didn't mean anything uh, when I said... Speaking of the devil, uh, I'll call you later. You need to change, mate. Jake, you changed! What? The fuck? Sir, pick up your change, please. I don't know if this is a good idea, bro. You just got over her, now you're gonna go on a coffee date with her. Chill out bro, it's only one drink. And I'm over her anyways. I am. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna stick around for this shit show. I'll be at the beach. So... So... Why did you ask me out for a coffee? Does there have to be a reason? We've been together for five years, Jake. I can tell when you're lying. I suppose it's just we never really talked about what happened between us. What's to talk about? I don't know. I feel like it kind of just came out of nowhere. That's not fair. It didn't just come out of nowhere. Sophie? Are you even listening to me? Sorry, I just thought I... Do you I... remember when we came here for a five-year anniversary? And we had that massive argument and I stormed off downstairs. While I was waiting at the stairs by the pool, and you never came after me, that's when I realised that I was done with everything back home. And I know that sounds harsh, but they were never there for me. And neither were you. Why didn't you tell me this? I tried telling you, but you just didn't listen. I'm sorry. It's time, Jake. What? It's time to go. Sophie! Yeah? When did you start smoking again? I don't know. You tell me. Huh. So, how's life at home? Pretty depressing, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was actually thinking of extending my stay here a bit longer, because 
life, life at home does not sound fun at the moment. Well, if you need a place to stay, my couch is always free at mine. Oh, thank you. That's really nice of you. Don't sweat it. You know, the other day I was walking around town and uh, I came across this ad for a flat and it looked pretty nice. So, you thinking about moving here permanently? I was thinking about it. Well, it's pretty good. Not gonna lie. But the moment I decided to move here, I instantly regretted it. Wait, why though? You're living the dream? I miss my mom, my dad, I'm Peanut. And you. I can't believe Peanut got priority over me. Ha ha. <laughs> well, I would just say sleep on it. You don't just want to pack up your life and move here just to go back and be stuck here. What do you mean though? You can, you can come back as well, can't you? So that was your plan all along to come here, ambush me, and sweep me off my feet. <laughs> uh, that's not true because I didn't expect you being here and you're not worth the price of the ticket, trust me. And I flew coach as well. How dare you! <laughs> Sophie? I needed you, Jake, and you went there. I needed you. I'm sorry, Sophie. I needed you, Jake, and you went there. Where are you? Answer the phone, Jake. I needed you, Jake, and you went there. Sophie? Sophie, are you okay? I needed you, Jake, and you went there. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not there. Listen, I'm gonna come to you, okay? Just wait for me. Just wait for me. So, that's how you think that conversation went? I always used to say sorry when you were upset. Yeah, I... <laughs> I always thought that, that I was annoying you with my sadness. You weren't. It was just a shit time for both of us. You remember the place well? I mean, we used to spend a lot of time down here. And me? Do I still look like you remember? You look a little too good, if I'm honest. Oh, God. Yeah. I think I might have been too generous. <laughs> I know this has been difficult for you, but it's not your fault. And I think you know that. Do you think that's what the real Sophie would say? I do. I'm built up of your memories of me. So I'd say it's pretty accurate. And considering how obsessed you were with me. <laughs> Jake, you can't still want to stay here. There's nothing here for you. There's you. I'm not worth the price of the ticket. Trust me. So 
Sophie.